Well, I'm not expecting any serious sanction that would require Israel to survive. Yesterday, Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shtay said that for the first time, European Union countries are really thinking about imposing sanctions on Israel. And also, Israeli media quoted some diplomats that you know, European countries are really thinking about putting some sanctions on Israel. When we look at those sanctions, according to Israeli media, such as blocking Israeli participation in cooperation agreements and also halting grants for Israeli researchers, and also higher education, uh, those are not looking at uh, very serious sanctions that can be put on Israel. And also today, um, uh, Germany's foreign minister, Heiko Maas, was here, and he said that they are against annexation, and annexation um, is against international law, but he refrained from uh, talking about some sanctions on Israel. And I asked uh, one of the most experienced uh, diplomats of Israel, um, Alon Lial, he told me that they're not expecting a seri serious sanctions from European Union, and he said that when it comes to uh, Israel and Euro Germany's uh, foreign uh, relations, Germany's foreign policy is paralyzed. It looks like he said that because of um, Holocaust background of uh, Germany and Germany is still paying for it. And that's why they are not expecting any huge sanctions on Israel. But they are afraid of uh, sanctions coming from uh, Jordan because they are sharing, both countries, Jordan and Israel, sharing to a 307 kilometer border uh, between each other. There might be a really security threat to Israel. And I can clearly say that none. Um, Israelis are getting ready uh, for possible uh, political upheaval in the occupied West Bank and also a new and dangerous round of violence in the occupied West Bank if annexation will come on July 1st.